Okay. In my younger years as a child, I always had issues accepting who I was. From the way I looked, to my performance, and to what others thought about me. I used to ask myself, was I pretty? Was I accepting of, of others? And most of all, did I fit in? Growing up in middle school and high school, these are the most challenging years when you need to try to fit in with the cool crowd or to fit in with others. In these years, you either fit in or you don't. Well, I had to experience this the hard way. Most of my challenging features was always within my face. And I always had issues of being joked about or little things or little comments that always pertain to my face. And to me, what's in my face made me who I am as Olivia. With my facial features, as you notice, I have a mole on the right side of my cheek. I also have freckles on both sides of my face. And I also have skin pigmentation. So, in order to understand these features, we need definitions. Okay. According to dictionary.com, a mole is a small congenital spot or blemish on the human skin, usually a dark color, slightly elevated, and sometimes hairy. Mine's not hairy, but it sits there as a beauty mark. <laughs> so, moles can appear anywhere on the skin, or alone, or in groups. According to the Cleveland Clinic, most, more, more, most moles appear in early childhood and during the first 20 years of a person's life. Some moles might appear later on in life, and usually in the late adulthood, you can reach up to 10 to 40 moles. Moles occur when cells in the skin grow into clusters instead of being spread throughout the skin. These cells are called melanocytes, and they make the pigment that gives the skin its natural color. Moles might darken after exposure with the sun and during the 10 years. So now that we know what a mole is, there's two types that we need to understand. The first type of mole we have is congenital moles, and those are moles that appear at birth. That's what I have, and these moles occur in about one out of every 100 people. These moles might be more likely to develop into melanoma, and if the mole is more than 8 inches in diameter, it is possible for it to become cancerous. The second type of mole we have is diplastic moles, and these are larger than the average, and they are irregular in shape. They tend to have uneven color with dark brown centers and light and even edges. These moles can be hereditary and they have a greater chance of developing malignant, which is a cancerous melanoma. So, a freckles, we're going to move on to the definition of freckles. And with freckles, these are one of the small brownish spots on the skin that are caused by depositions of pigment and they increase in number and darken on exposure to sunlight. Freckles are extremely common and they are not a health threat. They are more often seen in lighter people and with people with lighter hair, such as red hair, blonde hair, and things like that. Both men and women can get freckles at an equal rate. The cause of these freckles include genetics and diseases, and one such disease is, is called zero, zero derma. And this disease are caused an increased sensitivity to ultraviolet light, such as the sun. So with me, with this sensitivity to this ultraviolet light, the type of moisture I use or the things I use on my face have to have what is called SPF 15 in it, which is a type of sunblock that blocks these rays from the sun to protect my face. So lastly, we have the pigmentation, which is coloration, especially in the skin. According to TargetWomen.com, skin pigmentation results as the body producing either too much or too little Melanin. Skin pigmentation creates a darker or lighter skin tone that may be blotchy and uneven, as you can see. Cause of the pigmentation can range from autoimmune conditions to drug reactions to genetic inheritance. And another main leading cause for this pigmentation, once again, is the sun damage. Sun can really damage skin and you know, cause certain problems. So now that we have the basics of what I have. We're going to just look through a few examples 
of my beautiful face. Okay. So first, I want to point out my mold. As you can follow the arrows, you see the mold is on the right side of the cheek, and it sits there. This one, as you can see it on this side, and I thought these were two great examples to introduce my mold. My second slide picture, I would want to talk about my freckles. If you look closely, where the arrows are at, if you look down, you can see freckles right under my eye and a little bit on the cheeks. There are in the upper cheeks and the upper jaw bones and things like that. My last set of pictures, I have my skin pigmentation. It's kind of hard to see with the light, but if you look kind of closely, follow the arrows, you will see where the skin, the skin pigmentation is in like the lower chin, the upper parts of my cheeks again, and it's kind of all over, which is my face as well. And I just pointed out the cheeks in this picture and stuff like this. So this is what I have. This is what I go through. And with these flaws, I have learned to accept who I am and to stop pleasing others. Accepting yourself for who you are will improve your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your self-worth. Since high school and entering college, I have realized that people come in different shapes, sizes, ethnicities, and so much more. And coming to Boston State has really opened my eyes to see other things. Knowing and accepting your self-worth will get you farther in life. So my message to you all is to first trust your feelings. Go with your first instinct, trust your feelings, and go with how you feel. Understanding the power of your attitude. Understand that you have control over your attitude and you have the power to change things. And if you want to get something done, then you have the power to do that. Tell yourself that you matter and then prove it. So once you have self committed yourself and say that you matter as a person, prove it to yourself. My next tip is to grasp opportunities. When you grasp opportunities, like they lead to so many more open doors when you take opportunities. Ball State offers so many opportunities and I advise like a lot of you to take those opportunities and lastly value yourself and your time if you do not value yourself and your time how can you value others and their time so just to leave you all with a little quote I find this quote quite interesting and this is one of my favorite quotes it just simply says if you see by the eye if what you see by the eye doesn't please you then close your eyes and see from the heart. Because the heart can see beauty and love more than the eyes can ever want.